Hi, uh, Alec. Congratulations over here. Thank you. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you, um, you have this little puzzle piece on your lapel. What does that mean? Uh, Bob Wright um, from NBC Universal is a great supporter of um, autism research and uh, has a, a works raising money for autism. And this is Bob's, uh, gave us this pin to wear. And as I was mentioning earlier, that when you work for NBC, if Bob had asked us to wear a hubcap in our lapel, um, <laughs> I'd be wearing a hubcap right now because we are working for Bob right now. Alex, congratulations. <coughs> uh, Thank you. Hey, Good evil, caustic, and gruff seems to be your artistic zenith these days. <laughs> Why is that? Well, um, I, um, when I was offered this part and I read the pilot, you know, I thought to myself, I wasn't quite sure I wanted to play, you know, the uh, the, the 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 tough value in the in the script. But because it's Tina and because it's uh, Robert Carlock and Lorne and all the people involved creatively, I just think it's a lot smarter than um, uh, that might typically be. It's the guy just isn't just mean. He's mean and a little, a little nutty in a wonderful way. So well and a lot lately. Why is that? Um, we, I think when you do a job, I mean, everybody offers you the same job over and over again. I always tell people my dream role would be to, re to um, recreate Little House on the Prairie and play the Michael <laughs> Landon role. But no one has offered me that yet. Maybe when this show is finally done, that will be next for me. And I hope you'll, I hope you'll enjoy that show when it comes out, too. And I hope you'll see all what I bring to that as well. Yeah, thank you. Alec, uh, as an actor with such famously uh, liberal point of view, is it particularly delicious to play a conservative, a blue, uh, conservative corporate type who it may or may not be Condoleezza Rice's boyfriend? Right, yeah. Playing a guy who is... Um, running off uh, to jump on a corporate jet to go have sex with Condoleezza Rice over in Dubai. Uh, it's really been, uh, it's been a new experience for me. And, 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 and no pun intended, plumbing the depths of that character and finding out what he's about uh, has been a really, really exhilarating experience for me. So I'm really enjoying it. Alec, right in front of you, congratulations. Hey, good, good to see you. Good for you. How are you? Great. Um, generally, corporate executives in real life aren't known for having great senses of humor. Are you surprised that people at NBC seemingly appreciate what you do so much? Well, I think that TV, as you well know, has evolved so much over the last 10 years that, that I think that the networks have had to keep up with the cable uh, stations in terms of the kind of level of, uh, you, you know, honesty and acerbicity and kind of, uh, you know, cynicism in a way. And if you want to have a show that's a hit show, it's got to have an edge to it. And if, and, and if that's who we throw the darts at and the show's successful, what do they care? It's, 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 it's profitable for their, for their network. So. You know... Yeah, no, no, please, Jeannie. Hey, people talk about, you know, rolling the dice, and of course being in the series <clears throat> is that. But your character just, like, caught fire immediately. When did you start sensing how much fun the audience was having with you and, and how much critical acclaim was coming with that? When you watch TV, uh, you know, when you, when you do a TV show, which I haven't been a regular on a TV show since I did Knott's Landing in 1984, <laughs> and um, when you do a television show, you can't get over how the audience, even for a modestly successful television show, is more than the audience for the run of, of, of a modestly successful film in its entire run. I mean, like if you do a TV show and six and a half or seven million people watch that show, that might comprise the entire you know, three-month arc of, of, of a film release. So in one night, you have so many people seeing what you do, and I go out in public and I can't, get, I can't ex believe how much exposure you get. I, I'm reminded of how much exposure you get from a TV show. I walk down the street and people say things to me, you know, do every 15 minutes. His, do they quote his crazy lines back <clears throat> to you? Some people do. The weird ones do. The really, the oh. deeply, <laughs> deeply disturbed people and the strange people quote my lines back to me, yeah. Alec, have you been gifted with a Trivection oven yet? Uh, no, I haven't got that yet, but I'm, I'm going to build a new house next year and when I do, I'm going to get, it's going to be completely GE from, from head to toe. Yeah, everything. Garage door open. No, I wasn't surprised insofar as what films get uh, some kind of traction, whether it's selling tickets or critically or in awards or festivals or what have you. That really is a roll of the dice and who makes it and who doesn't make it. Uh, um, uh, you know, if, if, the, if the film 
has a great cast, and I think Running with Scissors had a great cast with Gwyneth and Annette and Brian Cox and so forth. Um, if they if the they have a good cast, and uh, Ryan Murphy had great success with Nip Tuck, and the movie comes out and it does less than people hope for, um, that happens a lot. You know, a lot of films don't get. I mean, I'll, I I I've watched a lot of films this year. Uh, on Academy DVDs, I really, I'm like all of us do. I sit down on the weekends with a big box of tapes and, and DVDs. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, watched uh, Ryan Gosling the other night in Half Nelson. Now, I mean, I'd venture to say I look at the paper. I, I, I've actually been hunting for ads for Half Nelson in the paper. There are none. No one's going to see this movie, and it's the best performance of Ryan Gosling's career. He's fabulous in the movie, and uh, um, uh, and the young actress uh, is it uh, Shakira or? Sh uh, Sh Sharika, Sharika Epps, um, uh, I'm thinking about the music business now, um, Sh Sharika Epps, fabulous young actress. I watched The Little Children. I think that Patrick Wilson did some of the best work of his career in, uh, in, uh, in Little Children. I thought he was fantastic, and Kate is always fantastic. And um, uh, I thought that the girl, um, uh, Jody, what is her last name, who was in Venus, the young woman, Jody, is it Wh Whitaker? Jody Whitaker was incredible. So, I mean, a lot of people, it goes by, and it's unheralded in its time. And then other people, um, like this category this year, a lot of people who were stars of films were placed down in the supporting actor category, who were playing lead roles in films. So it's like, who is going to get recognized and who isn't going to get recognized? That's a roll of the dice, you know what I mean? That always a Alec, uh, 30 Rock hasn't been, excuse me. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Alec, uh, 30 Rock hasn't uh, done, uh, it's gotten a lot of critical acclaim, but it hasn't done that well in the ratings. H how do you feel about that? Are you surprised that it hasn't really well, clicked? Well, I think that, the, the, that launching a new show, I mean, I don't know much about this, but I was told, for example, that Seinfeld, the ratings were, uh, were, were uh, less than wonderful in their first year. The first year you want to build, so hopefully by the end of this broadcast season, uh, we'll be in good shape. It has been going up nominally every year, I mean, every episode. And I think that uh, uh, the writing, uh, uh, because of Tina and Carlock and everybody and Regi and everyone, uh, the writing has gotten stronger each episode. So I think we're going to do fine after the end of the show. Alec, any experience? Thank you. Thank you.